What's up everyone? Today I want to cover a very important topic. High bar squats or low bar squats? My answer might surprise you. It doesn't really matter. <gasps> Let's pretend for a moment that there was no such thing as a high bar squat or a low bar squat. There was only the squat. You just put the barbell on your back in a position that feels comfortable and secure for you. Put the barbell on your back in a position that allows you to stay balanced and technically sound throughout the entire movement. Put the barbell in a position on your back that allows you to feel the most powerful. I know plenty of great squatters who put the barbell high on their back, and I know plenty of great squatters who put the barbell low on their back. Whatever works for them. Some of you guys are getting a little too caught up with categorizing yourselves as high bar squatters or low bar squatters. I will admit, I'm sure I've contributed to some of this confusion. I've made videos about how to high bar squat, how to low bar squat. I've said things like power lifters should low bar squat, Olympic lifters should high bar squat, and on and on. But the truth is, not everyone can be placed in this cookie cutter answer of, you should high bar squat and you should low bar squat. You have to figure out what works for you. I've seen plenty of people who could really benefit from moving the barbell down their back a few inches, but they're so concerned with sticking to the high bar squat. I'm just trying to get them gains on my quads, bro. <laughs> Look, no judgment here. I know everyone starts somewhere, but you weigh 150 pounds and you're struggling to squat 200 pounds. You need to stop worrying about upping your quads and start worrying about upping your squat. On the other end of the spectrum, I've seen a lot of guys who try to mimic power lifters when they should probably just get back to the basics and learn how to squat down to depth with a neutral setup. Some of you have even commented on my squat videos saying things like, Alan, is that a high bar squat or a low bar squat? Whoa, Alan, why are you low bar squatting? I thought that you said high bar squats were better. Alan, 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 Alan. Look, I'm just squatting. Yes, I do put the bar a little bit lower on my back, but that's for no other reason than the fact that I prefer it. The barbell has more contact on my upper back with the low bar position than it does with the high bar position. And this feels more secure for me. Having the bar in a lower position on my upper back allows me to use my legs, some hip drive, and it lets me drive my upper back into the barbell as I stand back up. While the low bar squat is my bread and butter and I do prefer it over the high bar squat, sometimes I do squat with the bar in a higher position on my back just to hold back the constant poundage that the low bar squat allows me to lift. Let's take a look at my high bar squat and my low bar squat side to side. You'll notice that there isn't a huge difference between the two squats. I maintain a fairly upright torso, similar squat stance, I reach depth on both, similar tempo, my ugly face remains the same. There is not much difference between the two. They are both still a squat. I have said before that if a first timer asked me, should I high bar squat or should I low bar squat? I would tell them the high bar squat just because it's the easiest to learn. It teaches you the basic fundamentals of squatting. Put a barbell on your back, squat all the way down, stand back up. Get good at this and it will take you very far. If you soon realize that you actually like having the barbell a little bit lower on your back with a little bit more body lean, great, do it. Keep striving to improve your squat. I'm glad you're learning for yourself. When I first started squatting, I started with the high bar position because I had never heard of a low bar squat. I made a lot of progress in five years. I went from a 95 pound squat to a 385 pound squat with no real programming other than squat, clean, jump, sprint, do it three to four times a week, do reps, work hard, and push yourself. Now I am not discouraging you from educating yourself and I think it's very important that you understand what you're doing, why you're doing it, and to make sure you're doing it right. But it is very easy to paralyze yourself and overanalyze all the information out there. Paralysis by analysis. Sometimes you just have to go with your gut and over time with lots of practice, intuitively, you will know what works for you and what doesn't. Anyways, back to me. So I took a few years off from lifting, I didn't touch any weights, and when I got back to squatting, a friend of mine who knew what he was doing told me that I should move the bar a little bit lower on my back because I was having some problems with my bar path. I started low bar squatting, I found that it felt more comfortable for me, and I made a lot of progress doing it. The reason I'm sharing all these stories with you guys is because I'm trying to let you know that the high bar squat and the low bar squat both work. So find out what works for you, make progress, get stronger, and train on time!